come back to this channel so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here now here just simply search for the vertex ai just simply open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on this enable all recommendation api just simply click over here now click on this workbench Just simply wait and just simply click on this unwanted pop up like this. Now, just simply click on this user manage notebook. Just simply click over here, it will reload the page and it's done. Now, just simply click on this create. And from here, as you can see, environment you have to just simply choose the Python 3. Just simply wait and then choose this. Now, just simply click on this advanced option and then click on this machine type. Now, here, what you do, you have to just simply choose the E2 standard 4 like this if you just simply come back over here you can see e2 standard and from here just simply choose e2 standard for this one like this it must look like this then click on this create button now it is going to take a couple of minutes to just simply start the jupyter notebook so just simply wait for that And it's finally done. Now just simply click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, what he'll do, just simply come back over here and click on the task number two. And here you can see we already got a score for the task number one. Now from here, just simply copy this command, just simply copy like this, come back over here, and then just simply click on this Python 3. Now just simply paste the command which is just copy and now here you can see we can use a shift plus enter button to enter a command or you can just simply click on this play button. So just simply paste shift plus enter like this way and from here you can just simply drag down the progress. For now the kernel status is busy so we have to just simply wait until it show as the ideal. So just simply wait and it's done. Now once done with this command what here do click on this python and then click on this select. Basically we have to just simply restart the kernel. And if you just hover over here, you can see kernel status is idle. Once you see the kernel status is idle, now just simply come back over here, copy this query, come back over here, paste, and just simply run. And it's done. Now if you just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.